And Des Moines Area Regional Transit is expanding its DART on Demand service to West Des Moines and the Riverbend neighborhood of Des Moines after the success of their pilot program in Ankeny. Our own Griffin Wright has been following this story. He joins us now to break down what this will mean for the communities they're servicing. Good morning, Griffin. Good morning, Justin. So starting with a, just a quick refresher on what DART on Demand is, it's like Uber, but only uh, for certain areas and only during certain times. Now, one of those new areas is the Riverbend neighborhood here in Des Moines, and for its residents, it will have a big impact. So the 50314 area code is one of the lowest incomes areas in Polk County. About a third of the residents live below the poverty line. So that is an area that already has fixed route service, but we're kind of enhancing that transit access in that area um, with the on-demand service so that people can use the on-demand, you know, from maybe their house or their workplace to a bus stop if they need to connect to the broader network or just to travel within um, that entire neighborhood. Dart on demand will be used differently in each zone for the Riverbend neighborhood. It will help residents get around their day to day in West Des Moines. It's more about expanding access to destinations that fixed route services don't reach, letting riders get more places with the Dart network. It's probably going to primarily serve people that are looking to get to DMAC West or to the Mid-American Energy Recplex Complex. Um, and that's and that's really kind of the, the purpose of the zone is to expand transit access to that growing area of West Des Moines that has not had access historically. So now DART On Demand is in three different areas around the metro uh, and it's probably going to grow in the future to more areas. It's shown that it does a really good job of just connecting the metro. Yeah, sounds like an awesome opportunity and DART remaining real flexible with how the metro is growing and where certain people need rides. It uh, allows some people that uh, opportunities are within reach, Griffin, right? It's uh, allowing people to, you know, that didn't have a ride to maybe DMAC West can now, you know, get there. You're hearing good things about the first couple of days that they've done this? Yeah, really, really great things just about the connectivity because what people can do is they can say, you know, start downtown Des Moines at Dart Central Station, take a bus route out, say, to West Des Moines, and then they can take Dart On Demand to get to those places like the Recplex or DMAC West. Uh, so it's really a way to kind of connect uh, yourself from Des Moines or wherever you are from that fixed route service and then be able to take that Dart On Demand uh, bus and get that to wherever else you need to go in those areas. So that way uh, they don't need to have another fixed route bus service there, uh, just Dart On Demand, which can take people for everything, whether it's groceries, work or uh, school, really whatever people need to use it for. Exciting time for transportation here in the Metro. Thank you, Griffin, reporting live from the Riverbend neighborhood. Griffin Wright.